Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here is about my script farming location in the world vs. world areas of uh, Guild Wars 2. So the script are going to be located in your faction's borderlands in the northwestern portion of the borderlands. Now they're always going to be here regardless of what borderlands you're in or anything like that. There's always going to be script to the northwest and there's always going to be... Uh, centaurs to the northeast at least from my personal experience now i'm in the bottom right borderlands for this video so it might be a little bit different of a layout you know if you guys are currently in different borderlands and stuff like that uh so that's something you want to keep in mind now another thing is considering the fact that we're in a world versus world scenario it's pretty obvious that you're not going to be 100 percent safe farming at this farming location i mean yes it is your faction's borderlands, so you're going to be much safer off than, you know, if you were in, like, a, uh, a more, uh, contested territory than this. But, um, there's still gonna be some people that might run through, might attack you, might be on their way to, like, a supply camp up north or something like that. And you'll definitely need to keep an eye out and watch out for these types of people, because if you run into them and, uh, you know... It, it might end badly for you. Also, you know, if you get downed, regardless, it's going to knock down your stacks of luck and anything like that. Although, of course, you know, those players might drop Badge of Honor for you or something like that that makes it worthwhile to kill them. Uh, it's much better off to just avoid them versus, you know, looking for a fight or even accepting a fight if it comes around. If you see them, see if you can just, like, let them run away. I wouldn't really recommend, you know, interrupting them or, you know, getting in their face. After all, you're here to farm. If you wanted to, you know, go PvP or gank people or stuff like that, you can go to World vs. World, uh, you know, and actually, or go to an area where you'll actually fight and stuff like that. So, uh, the main thing that we're going to be farming here is the events that happen. When the script event happens where you have to kill 30 script, like, four times as many script spawn here. Uh, you'll want to run around and kill all these script pretty much over and over and over and over until the event ends and right after that event another one's going to spawn to kill the veteran script that runs around you kill the veteran script and after you complete uh kill the veteran script that event ends and pretty much this location gets put on a quote-unquote cooldown for a little bit what i mean by that is uh during this cooldown period there's not going to be really anything to do i mean there's some script in the area you can kill uh, but not as many are going to be as spawned, you know, when the Kill 30 event is going on. It takes about three to five minutes in order for the uh, Kill 30 script event to respawn. And depending on what you want to do during that time is completely up to you. You can uh, either port back to the Citadel Waypoint and go farm the Centaurs to the northwest, uh, or to the northeast, I'm sorry. Or you can, uh, you know, browse the trading post, uh really do anything you want during this period of time it's completely up to you now uh the main thing we're going to be farming at this location is something called a bag of heavy script shinies these bags sell for 15 silver each on the trading post and are like the gold mine that we're going to be farming here for usually you're going to be getting about 10 bags every 30 minutes <clears throat> which accumulates to about one gold 40 silver which would be about three gold an hour from farming here you're also going to find other stuff like valuable metal scraps and other goodies that you'll be able to sell, but none of that sells as good as the heavy or, uh, yeah, heavy bags of script shinies that you're going to be getting here. Those are just pretty much, you know, the, uh, the item that we are farming here for. And, uh, of course, they are going to be the biggest money maker of this location. Um, as far as everything else goes, I found, on average, I'm getting about two rares an hour from farming here. Now, uh, what I recommend you do is check to see if you uh, if the rares sell well first. Usually, I check to make sure the price is over 22 silver per rare. If it is, then what I usually do is just sell and list the rare. If the price is under that, <clears throat> like some rares currently go for like 17 silver or something like that, what I usually do then is I salvage the rare and then hope for globs of ectoplasm plus the sigil or rune or you know base material, anything like that. And then I sell them on the trading post as well. Uh, well, I sell all of the, you know, salvageable stuff on the trading post. Now, uh, 
this location will get you about three to four gold 50 silver an hour and also it'll get you some world vs world experience from farming here as well now uh, you won't get that much from farming here I think each event is about 100 uh, world viewer XP and also uh, you know you get the two events back to back you, I mean you'll get uh, a couple hundred every hour or something like that it'll be a decent amount it's nothing you know to uh, ooh and ah over is what I'm trying to get at um, as far as everything goes I do like this farming location I do recommend it to other people um, it's good because anybody can come here of all levels although only max level players are going to get the heavy bag of script Chinese everyone else below that level is going to get a different tier of a bag of script Chinese depending on you know what level they are and things of that nature so what, whereas every single person can come here and enjoy this location, only high level players are going to be getting those heavy bags of Scrit Chinese, which is pretty much where the money is at. Uh, aside from that, there's really nothing else to be said about this farming location. It is a pretty good location, and uh, I do recommend you guys check it out if you know you're bored. Although, I do recommend that you only come here kind of early on in the morning or really, 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 really late at night because uh, it is in a world versus world zone. And uh, the odds of more people being on during prime time are obviously much higher than the odds of people being on during the off hours. And, uh, you know, you want to get here during the off hours where there's barely anybody online. That way you can. Uh, farm for the longest period of time without any interruption at all. Of course, I recommend using Magic Fine Food. Omnon Berry Bars work great here. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to this location. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, of course, as always, like, comment, and subscribe to me for future Guild Wars 2 and farming videos. Aside from that, guys, good luck, happy hunting, and I'll see you guys around in the next video.